Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton and this is episode 9 of my 6th Let's Play series. We're playing a custom version of Vaulters on Endless Difficulty, Endless Duration Game, going for a score victory. It is turn 35 and we're towards the end of that turn. We're just uh, going to be going through, <clears throat> starting off with... Um, exploring a bunch of curiosities. We have a bunch of scouts out looking around. Uh, we're trying to still find, we're trying to find the next place that we're going to send the Argosy for our next outpost. We have two colonies, AA and BA, and uh, Amoeba is a temporary system that we have. Uh, we're building um, portals. We have one built here in BA, and we're building one in AA. It'll be done next turn, and then we'll be able to send ships back and forth. So we're going to move fleet here and then put them together and come up here and take down this one for a quest that will get us some Hyperium. <clears throat> and that quest is for Hyperium, and this quest is Obelisk of Remembrance, which we probably aren't doing that one. Wow, so we've got a lot of... Hyperium lined up in quest, but uh, what we're trying to also get is this titanium here So we need to get three more planets. I guess we're in first place at the moment um, We need three more planets So we have eight of eight planets. So we need three more to get this deed reward and you're trying to get those done There's one planet there in four turns uh, this one has one planet in three turns, so that's two, and then this one has one in seven turns. But there are more population on the way. Don't know if they'll get there in time to really help out much, but for what it's worth, uh, I got people on the way. <laughs> Heading to Amoeba. All right, so let's, let's, let's do these uh, explorations here. Take this guy this way or that way. I don't know. There's nothing to see here. I don't think, is there? Yeah, there's one there. I think this guy's going to go over here, and then maybe if he goes up here, then this guy won't need to go up here. He can go over here, over here, and then over here. So then this guy doesn't need... Oh, wait, there's, an, there's a circle. There's influence there. Six movement and three probes. Tell you what, we'll split the difference. We'll do that. I'm leaving two probes left. And we'll head on up here. I would consider attacking him. Uh, he's pretty weak. However, we're even weaker. We have completely unarmed scouts, so <laughs> that's not going to happen. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, luxurious livers. Okay, we want that. We want that. That is huge. That is huge. That's a 20% reduction in system development cost, right? We're already at a 45% discount. Oh, somebody else already has... I'll bet you it's the Lumeris. No, I would say Lumeris, wouldn't it? We're probably not going to win that one. We got to try, though. Let's see. How many do we have to explore there? One, two, three, four. An Arid with a Subterranean. An Ash with a Subterranean and a Ruins. Ooh. Ooh, 
Ooh, and there's another one over here. Okay, wow. They're really close. Um, so we're at plus zero, and I with four explorations, that's going to give 40. So I really only need to do one or two. I'll do two. Those are 20 apiece, so that's 40 points. And then next time, I'll explore all four, and that'll get me to 80. Probably still won't get them, but I have to try. Luxurious Livers is one of those big ones. It's one of, it's, it's one of the really good ones. It's worth fighting for. <laughs> oh, now I got already a speed wagon in my head. I can't fight this feeling. Oh, man. Whew. Don't know where that came from. That's bizarre. Okay, you're going to wait. Uh, next time, he's probably going to send a probe out there. And there, maybe. <laughs> try, to, try to find something out here, man. All right, so you wait. Okay, this dude's making good progress over here. This is the guy who I think is on borrowed time because he is not in uh, privateer mode. He is obviously vaulters, <clears throat> which means he can be attacked by pirates. Uh, five of three... Okay, how many are here? One, two, three. No movement left. Fifty influence, very nice. That's great. Very, very welcome. Okay, he has ten movement left. And he has four probes left. Let's go over here. Turn. I have to rush and try to get down here and try to beat the Craver to those explorations. Okay, he has five probes. <clears throat> Two subterranean. Titanium. Okay, cool. So the first one was nothing. The second one was titanium, and I got five from the discovery.
know. I don't know if these guys are going to attack or not. I think maybe they won't because they're pirates and I look like a pirate to them. I think I'm okay. We have four probes left. Okay. One, two, three, four. So I want to have at least one probe left. But if I have two left, then I'll have five. So if I want to have two left, I have two. So I can fire off two probes. Two probes left. We'll move. Okay, and next, last guy is down here. Volans. Volans. We have four probes. Three curiosities. He's in privateer mode. Okay, we got another adamantium deposit, a five planet system, three, four hot planets. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good system. And we have a life form, a level three life form, which could be, I'm guessing, Giga Lattice. Do we have that in the thing here? say this system actually has more potential <clears throat> than this one over here than Dill. <clears throat> Dill is a nice five planet system and it has antimatter but I oh wait oh that's a signal okay um, so that's that's probably not going to be a uh, luxury resource so I don't have a source of that yet. I have this lined up over here at BA. So I'm still trying to figure out where am I gonna put Argosy for the next uh, for the next colony. I'm trying to figure that out, and I don't have the answer yet. Um, okay, and this guy has one probe left. He has no movement left.
So it looks like this guy's going to come right down through here, so I don't really need to send a probe out there. So I have one probe left. I'll go ahead and save it and just head this way. That's a long term, man. That's a lot of stuff going on. That was like 15 minutes worth of shooting probes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to advance the turn, and then I'm going to spam the Move All Fleets button to try to get this guy down here in time to beat the Cravers. Cravers have Expedition Power 2. And that is a 1, and that is a 1. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to hover here. <clears throat> so here we go. And turn. Spam, spam, spam. Clicky, 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 clicky. Things are happening, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click these two curiosities as fast as I can. Click in here. Ha! Ah, I got them both. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I beat you, Cravers. I beat you. <laughs> See, there they are. There's the the AI doing the thing that they do, where they're basically already knowing where the stuff is. AI cheats, man. Hundo percento, they cheat. So we're going to do the same thing here at Graphius. All right, so what do we get over here? Pulsos population. The hive cares a little for the interests of other races. Tor. Characteristics. As my Spanish teacher in 10th grade used to say, characteristics. Characteristic or she couldn't say character. I don't know, it's funny. They're not nice guys. Cravers are not nice guys. They'd be widely regarded as bad guys. Okay. Spotted a collapsing star. Cool. Applied Happiness Program helps us with our approval. Yeah, we've got some, uh, some bonuses falling off here. Yeah, we're down to one new colony rule, and it's gone in the end of turn. Yep. We're going to have to take a look at our approval situation going on here. It's dropping. <clears throat> Probably fiddle around with this off camera, shuffling some population around a little bit. These guys just finished building <clears throat> this portal. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Uh. Yeah, I would like to have this done on thirty nine if possible. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> okay, so we, we, we need to sort out the approval situation. They will offer a quest. Uh, 
I shall defend the faith, whatever that requires. So they're demanding, uh, they're going to demand uh, tributes. They're going to demand, demand I pay them bribes. Which I don't think I'm going to do. Even in holy war, <clears throat> diplomacy remains an option. For the good of the church. I have a proposal for you. For the good of the church. Not for the good of you, for the good of us, right? Okay, so we found Jade Onyx, maybe. If we found Jade Onyx, then I'd probably want to go get it. Beginning of turn 36. I think this is probably a pretty good stopping point right here. Um, we'll start off at 36. Um, there's a lot to do this turn. I gotta check out all these. I wanna see about if I want to I'll probably move some population over here to BA from AA. Let's see if we can do this. Check this out. Let's see if we can get, move these guys over here. Oh, was that cool or what? That was pretty cool. I'm digging that. Okay, that's four movement, no movement, no movement. Okay. I'm going to take those dudes and we're going to move them over here and we're going to deal with that quest. And that quest will give us some Hyperium. Oh, well, that works. You know, before I do that, I should look at whatever these quests are. Prophecy of Doom, generate 355 science per turn in one of your systems before 28 turns. And if I do it, I get the minor civilization. And I think it's these guys. 355, huh?
Turn 36. Where's that location? Ah, this guy, okay. All right, well, so far the, um, the pacifists aren't too strong. Don't really have a whole lot of influence here. Three turns. Next turn, our approval is going to drop. Two. I think I'm probably going to wait until after the election to praise them and explore that. These remnants. Oh, that's the end of the line there. I already praised these guys. So that ability to me is not actually even relevant. And the system is not worth having, and the population is not worth having for me. Arid, atmospheric. So there's a subterranean here and a subterranean here. There might, uh, there might be something. Eden is pretty nice. That's a nice anomaly. See when you're when you're checking the side sides of the star lanes, going ahead where where you haven't been yet, um, it's a lot harder to guess. But when you do it shooting back after you've already been, then you your aim can basically be perfect. So it's uh, more efficient to just wait. I think. I have to remind myself of that because I forget. The, the um, galactic exploration part of the game is some of the funnest part for me. I really like it. Okay, we have two probes left. No movement.
Hmm. Okay, we've moved into an area where there is dark glitter. Improved plasma beam. A Zavali population. And dark glitter. Yeah, dark glitter is not exactly super exciting of a resource. What I'd really like to find is some jade onyx, right? Well, that would be cool. Okay, this guy is going to send some probes out to find out if there's... Like, how do I get out here? <laughs> right? Okay, how long is it going to take to get here? So sending out three probes won't make a difference in my arrival time here. So I can go ahead and send all three. here cool this guy let's see he has two probes left head this way. Yeah, that is a really good ability. Basic positron torpedoes. Not really much on torpedoes. I basically don't hardly ever use those. Basic fusion torpedoes, even weaker. Okay. Okay, so let's have the fairing go up here. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Jade Onyx, finally, the most prized common luxury in the galaxy. Yes, yes, we want it. We want the precious. Okay, there's one there. Yeah, boys. Okay.
Cool. Okay. I'll have to. Uh, I'm gonna take a take a moment to, to to analyze this. So this guy's heading over here, and he'll probably come up here. So then this guy doesn't have to go over there. He can go from here over to here. Or let's just see how long would it take to get him here. So it's faster for him to go across. So I might as well go to Gemini. Which means that this guy will go over here. Since he's already at Hekka, he'll go do that and then he's going to come over. How long does it take him to get to Gemini? Yeah, rather than have this guy go into Gemini, I think I'm going to have him come over here. Okay, one atmospheric and that's it. Ooh, nice 50 influence that helps that definitely helps <clears throat> okay he's got four movement left and four probes this is pretty much revealed Let's just go ahead and keep moving. Let's see, how long will it take these guys to get up here? Six turns. How long will it take this guy to get over there? Nine turns. So it'll already be a done deal by the time he shows up. Last ship, I need to have him. Can I have him join this? No. I can't turn him into a privateer. I need to get him to a system that can turn into a privateer. Oh, these guys are privateers already, so... Alright, head on over. Applied happiness, H field, have scale accelerators, is this, and we've got, we're close on that quest, right, this event, oh, I have five turns left still, before that completes, okay, hmm. that was cool that it completed the portal, I wonder what will happen with minor pops, Like, I mean, I, I wonder what will happen with population. If we send a population, well, let's find out. I think what, I think if you move minor, I think if you move population around, I think they might use the portals too. So 
So let's send one to Amoeba. Let's send an Amoeba to Amoeba. <clears throat> I think what will happen is it will take it during the turn and fly over. And because that's the short, shortest path to Amoeba is to go through the portal and then travel. I think that's what will happen. Okay, we're going to pretend that this system is worth having. And if it was, let's say that this is a worthwhile subterranean resource. And so is this. Let's say it's, if there's jade onyx here, it's plausible there could be jade onyx here. So let's say, let's pretend that there's two jade onyx here or there's a jade onyx and an antimatter, right? Um, then that would make this system worth keeping. In which case, 10, 20, 30. You need to get to at least 50, but really uh, probably more than 50. So let's do two praises and then we're going to explore that those curiosities yep I think that's the way to go and then when we're over there we may throw the extra probes out here just to see if we can get more information about this jade onyx situation and I think the Argosy is probably going to be heading over this way. So I cannot turn it into a privateer. And the Argosy, I don't believe, I don't think I have any upgrades for him. He has four movement points. I think three movement. That's fine. That's exciting, man. Jade Onyx? That's a big deal right there, man. So that would be jade onyx and eden incense as my upgrade that would be pretty solid a bunch of influence and a bunch of industry to go on top of industry and food that is pretty good i would be totally cool with that i am down for that okay so we're done with praising you they built the portal, They're colonizing lava. Applied happiness program. We gotta figure out the, uh, the approval situation here. So right now we have new colony rule. It's a plus 25, that's going away next turn. Forty-five. 
five. We need more food. We need more approval. And we need more strategic resources. Although our strategics are doing pretty well right now, to be honest. We had some good one-time uh, quest completion type stuff that, that, that's helped us out. I think what we're going to end up doing is moving some population over from from here over to here. Uh, I want to wait until we see how the test run goes of this amoeba. guess we're just going to let it happen. We're just going to let the approval drop off and then we'll just figure it out. I kind of want to get this next, uh, this, I want to get this turn clicked over. Um, let's see, we're doing the same thing over here at Graphius, right? Yeah, Graphius, whatever. We're going to try to beat the Cravers to the punch here. There's one. Okay, so we're going to click over to next turn. Spam this button. Well, we'll spam the next fleet, the, the move fleet button, and then we'll try to get this curiosity before the cravers get there. Let's see where that population is. There's the amoeba. Okay, so it did jump through here. Yeah, there's no amoeba en route along here. So he totally took that portal and zipped over to here. and is going to the amoeba system. So that totally worked. Cool, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yay, 50% of the galaxy, wow. Okay, so that, that's half the galaxy. <laughs> that is an enormous galaxy, is it not? Okay, cool. Uh, we'll check all this stuff out next time, man. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, if you are so inclined, uh, like, subscribe, comment, make suggestions, all that good stuff. It's definitely appreciated. And I do my best to answer uh, any kind of comments or whatever that I, uh, that I get. So... Thanks, and we'll see you, see you in the next video.